Welcome to 4-H Volunteer Training. At the close of this lesson, you will have the opportunity to test your knowledge of subject matter presented and complete a lesson survey. This lesson will cover interpersonal characteristics, honesty, ethics, and morals from the VRKC National 4-H Curriculum. In the lesson, Interpersonal Characteristics, Honesty, Ethics, and Morals, you will learn the difference between values, ethics, morals, and character, and the importance of each. You will also learn ways in which volunteers can be a team player. As adults working with young people, we have a responsibility to guide, direct, and mentor. Honesty, ethics, morals, and other traits serve as a foundation for our individual character. It is important to first understand what we believe about our own character before we can support others, particularly young people, as they build their character. While this session does not deal with teaching character, it is important to remember that as a volunteer for young people, you are serving as a role model. You are being watched. Honesty is telling the truth, being sincere, forthright, and candid. It is demonstrated by how we communicate with others and by how we act. In the bigger picture, honesty is a critical part of being trustworthy, which is essential to building meaningful relationships, long-lasting friendships, and successful associations. It is critical to build trust with the young people in our programs. Values are our important beliefs and desires. Our values shape our attitudes, help us make decisions, and motivate our actions. We develop our values from our experiences, from others, and from the formation of beliefs consistent with our self-image and personal life goals. It is important that our values are consistent with what we do. For example, valuing good health and nutrition, yet always being the first to suggest stopping for ice cream or indulging in a second piece of pie may cause some to question your values. Keep in mind, we don't all value the same things, and that's okay. For example, you might value a neat work area, while someone else finds they are more creative in what you would consider clutter. Ethics and morals are about right and wrong and determine how an honorable person should behave. First, we must know the difference between right and wrong, and then we must also have the willpower and discipline to do what is right, regardless of temptations and pressures. Ethics is about doing what is right, even when no one else is doing it. It is about making choices and choosing appropriate actions. We know it is unethical to commit murder or steal, but it is also unethical to lie, cheat, and break the law. The problem is that there are so many things in life that challenge our ethics. Morals are that code of conduct based on ethics. Character and ethics are closely related. A person of good character knows the difference between right and wrong and strives to do what is right for the right reasons. Many 4-H programs throughout the country incorporate character education in their programs. In fact, 4-H National Headquarters is a member of the Character Counts Coalition. Character Counts is based upon the framework of the six pillars of character. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Honesty, ethics, and morals were identified by research as important skill sets for those that work with youth. It is important for young people and their parents to know that the adults around them can be counted on and have high standards of character and behavior. You may be thinking that you didn't sign up as a 4-H volunteer to teach anyone how to be honest, ethical, or moral. In fact, you may feel it is not your place. If we took a poll right now, most people would likely agree that matters like teaching character is primarily a parent's responsibility. But everybody interacting with young people also has an important supporting role. Keep in mind, you are not invoking your values in others, your personal beliefs and desires. Rather, you are encouraging the universal character traits of right and wrong. As a 4 volunteer, you can encourage principles of character by being a team player. T is for teach. Help young people understand the importance of character. Encourage young people to think about the consequences of their actions. For example, if a young person agrees to help at the food stand during the fair, then changes his mind but fails to tell anyone, what are the likely consequences? E is for enforce. Be consistent and fair in enforcing rules and guidelines established by the state and county 4-H programs and by clubs. Enforcing rules is not always fun, 
but it is necessary and shows consistency. It might include things like meeting deadlines for registrations or completing reports. A is for advocate. Communicate clearly, continuously, and vigorously the importance you and 4-H attach to character. M is for model. Keep in mind we lead by example. We send a message as to what we value most by the choices we make and by our conduct. So what does good character look like? It's about putting honesty, ethics, and morals into action. For volunteers, it's about being a team player, where you are teaching, enforcing, advocating, and role modeling good character in your work with 4-H Youth. This concludes the lesson Honesty, Ethics, and Morals from the VRKC curriculum. If you have questions about this lesson, email ewilliams at uaex.edu. You may now proceed to the lesson review questions where you may test your knowledge on honesty, ethics, and morals. There are multiple choice and true or false questions for this lesson. Upon completion of these questions, you will receive one credit hour of training. Refer to your email for the links to the review questions and the lesson survey. Thank you for participating.